Hey guys, I'm back already. That's probably the fastest I've ever jury rigged my camera to my car ever. So I am quite proud. Now then, let's cut the gas. <laughs> Get the punching. Alright, so here we go. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably turf around the rocks, but that's not too interesting FPV footage. So we'll try and take it through some interesting terrain. Different ones than I did the last time, hopefully. And with this longer lasting battery should be easier to do. But I've been using this battery now for about 10 minutes. So if low voltage cutoff kicks in halfway through this video, don't be too surprised. But I don't expect it to be quite so long. interesting thing about how this car now handles is the fact that now this LiPo battery is maybe half the weight of the old nickel metal hydride battery so the whole thing flies different it controls different I might have to take out a couple preload spacers it's just a completely different handling car and more aspects than just speed right. a place we weren't at before near under the shady old tree. That's pretty rough terrain. About the roughest I have on my lawn right now, so let's go ahead and take a drive. drive with these stock tires that wasn't too bad grass is higher than the camera as you can see there's a branch down too that we need to take care of and 
uh, doubting some of the more recent windstorms. So I can't go all the way through here, but I'll drive through it. Unfortunately, we got a stick in here that's messing with the auxiliary fan, so I gotta get it out of here real quick. Just mind the camera shake. There it goes. There we go, now the camera, the fan is running freely. Pull out some grass around the motor. And the ESC too. And once again, as per usual, we will take temperature reading especially even now so more so than ever so we're running on a new system setup all right all right ESC is at about 148 which I don't like too much so we might just drive it a little bit easier and of course we're not gonna go two miles an hour but we're not gonna go full throttle either which is actually pretty good because you know I'm running out of terrain here I really don't have anything else left to do so I can drive around some places just to see what it looks like to drive through stuff like the garden and whatnot at, at eyeball level to the plants. So that's probably what I'll end up doing here. So if you're expecting high speed action, you might just want to get out of the video now. But I'm going to drive through some different terrain just to see what it looks like from the driver seat view of an RC car.
maybe through this garden as well. driveway we have a bunch of big old stones that we just pull like out of the vegetable garden and stuff and since we have a drainage pit down there at our driveway we just throw them in there to help against the erosion of the soil itself and it works pretty well and they're pretty good sized rocks so I mean, obviously not rock crawler rocks but they're good enough for just another a different type of terrain you know I guess just to classify them as a different type of terrain they're good enough so let's go check them out. construction going on the turnpike but they're good enough they got grass growing over them so let's just go ahead and see what happens. Always keep your speed down low, you know, you bounce around and slip and roll over. It keeps pretty good contact with the terrain, really. So, overall, I am impressed. I was kind of hoping for a car to come along so I could chase one of those on FPV, but I don't see one. Our road's not very busy, which does make it good for driving RCs on, but bad if you want to chase a car. So, we'll just head on up to the garage and turn off the cab.
bad? Oh, and it's a 16 minute video. Cool. Alright then. And the battery's blinking because I haven't charged that camera in a while. So, that'll conclude today's video. First lipo pack ever, and first lipo pack filmed for me. So, that's about it. Let's turn off the camera as per usual.